Hey, welcome back to another survival tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at building a barn. Now, I love having a barn anytime I have a farm. We did a farmhouse in my last tutorial, so in this one, we're gonna do this barn. It's a perfect addition for this world, so let's jump in. Okay, now to get started on this barn, we're actually gonna go with a 13 wide and then 11 blocks deep. So another build that we're just going to go with a standard rectangle. Nothing too fancy other than we are going to put a little, I don't know, covered area here on the side. But to get started, I've got my mangrove planks, my mangrove logs, and some red terracotta. And so really all I'm trying to do here is just put in a shape that feels like it's going to be roughly the side of the barn. I don't want to get too crazy with too many different colors. Oh, and I guess we should get out our axe. We're going to be using that a lot. So we're going to come in and strip these out. So as you can see, that's going to be a simple window. I've marked this part to be a door. So we're just going to do kind of the same thing over here, making sure that we don't mimic the other side too much. Put in that one. Well, let's come down here. Maybe there's this and then a stripped. And really, it's just filling it out. I don't ever use any special techniques here. It's really just making sure that it looks like it's been worn down in certain areas. And that's how quick we can get up kind of that first side. So from here, all we're really going to do is kind of keep playing up that same color palette and building up the walls. Now, as you can see here, I left a piece in the corner where we're going to put some walls in here in a minute. But basically what I'm going to do is now kind of run across here. We're going to, I don't know, just kind of put what you think feels good. I wish there was a, a solid technique here, but really what we're trying to do is just build up kind of the facade. So we're going to go up there. We're going to go up now here too. This part we might fill in all the way. I think I want windows up here, but what we're going to do is make this mostly um, just the face of it and see. And I think I don't actually want that one there because we're going to start the roof about there. Yeah, that's about what we're going to do. So now once you start having this, we can really start figuring out, I don't know, do we want to punch out a window every other block? Like my brain's starting to tell me maybe there's some one there, one there. We'll take this one out and I don't know. Let's see. Did we do that right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we just need to build this one up here and then take that out. So I'm going to finish kind of getting this front portion done so we can kind of see the shape that I'm going for and kind of what the windows I'm thinking are. Okay, and with what looks like a pretty strange front, this is going to make a lot more sense, I promise, here in a minute. But essentially what I want to do is have a roof that kind of comes up, arcs, flattens out, and then arcs back down. A little more of a traditional barn shape than maybe what you get in a house, which is up and down. We're going to go with a little bit of more of an arc. Now, did I get this perfect? Probably not. I'm guessing not. I put some windows in there as rough estimates. But what you'll really do is when you start putting the roof line in is where you'll start figuring that out. Okay, so we're going to start by building just the outline of it. As you can see, I haven't put any depth on this. Really, when I'm trying to do some of these is I really just want to figure out the facade because I know the roof is going to be going straight back. It won't be anything too impressive. So what we need to do is make sure that we really get that first level looking good. So for this one, we're actually going to start with a with a stair upside down and then a regular stair this way. So if I break this out, we'll be able to see that a little better. That's going to kind of be our shape to get the bottom part started. Now, instead of just keep going stairs, it would go that way. We need to go up a little. So we're actually going to put a regular block here, a stair there, and then we'll kind of do our normal stair upside down, regular stair upside down stair, regular stair. Now let's go see how this is looking so far. Yeah, it clips that window a little bit, which I don't always love, but I think that's going to be okay because the next portion we need to start flattening out. And now that I look at that, I think we may have gone just about right. Maybe that stair needs to come out because we need to flatten it. Let's see. I've got some deep slate slabs here. And I'm going to take this up a little bit higher so it's easier for us to get on the roof. So let's jump up here. And my thought is 
is that this is where it starts kind of flattening out. So maybe this stair is a little bit wrong. Like, let's maybe see if we do that and that. And then, yeah, let's try this. I'm thinking that might give us the kind of the curve, but also flattening out. Yep, that's, I think, what we're going to look for. So I'm going to put it down the rest of this side. We're going to make sure this looks good. We'll move the scaffolding and see if that is the roof that we're going for. And with that other side mirrored over now, you can see that it looks pretty good. Now, it looks a little strange with the sky and everything showing through. I think it'll be a little bit better once we get the rest of the building in. So that's what I'm going to do now is come back through. We're going to grab all of our blocks and really kind of put on this side which we'll see kind of what this looks like. And then I'm going to mirror roughly the front side to the back because what I think would be cool is if we had big barn doors on either side where the animals could actually come in on this side, maybe we feed them through that way and the other is for us to come in. So I'm just going to kind of wrap this around, put the back side on, and then we'll see what that looks like. Okay, once you start getting the sides in, you'll notice that this really starts feeling a lot more like a barn. And as you can see, just by putting some texture in, this already starts feeling quite detailed, even though right now it's roughly a rectangle with a curved roof on it. So that's one way that you can easily start getting a lot of detail is cut some windows in. I cut windows into this side, no windows into this side because this is essentially where we're gonna put the little covering over the side. So no windows there, but we got windows in here. We've got the door in both the front and the back. So now what we're able to do is kind of just start marking out the roof. So as you can see, we have the roof here. I'm going to make the roof go all the way across, up and over, and back around. We won't fill in the top just yet, but let's at least get that detail done. And with that edge of the roof in, we're really starting to get a barn here. It's got a nice feel. As you can see, we still need to round the corners, but we now have roughly the roof, all the sides in. And so now it's really kind of just detailing this, figuring out what we want to do to make it look nice. Now, the one thing that I think always looks good is when you can round the corners. So what I'm going to do here is let's see, we need four on each corner. So we're going to get 16 of these. And I should probably use some like um, granite walls as well. So we might substitute that in so it looks like it's more, I don't know, broken up. Do I have andesite here? Nope, I have to go get it over there. But what we're doing here is really just trying to make the corners feel rounded. Now, some builds look good when you have a sharp corner on them, but for this barn, that's kind of why I wanted to do this little overhang is really so we could just round out that corner and make it look like, I don't know, it just has a little bit more shape to it. So before we do the roof, what I want to do is see if we can start getting some of the details in here. Now, because this is a barn, I'm just going to use iron doors, or sorry, iron bars for kind of the windows. I think that makes it feel a little more varnish. And now what I try and do is fix, find a color for like a trap door that when you put it on, it goes with the color rather than being crazy. So if we put I don't know, a green one on here, it's really going to stand out. But because this is a barn, I don't really want it to stand out too much. I want it to kind of work with the color palette. So I think the jungle planks are going to work pretty well here. And whenever I do some kind of a little door, I want to stick something that roughly helps us. Oops, didn't want that one up there. That is roughly going to start defining our doorway a little. So maybe putting some deep sleep stairs in there, putting some jungle wood, again, making it feel like it's being held up. And now what do I want to do above the door here? I think we're going to get back out our slabs here and maybe we won't have enough. So let's just make a couple more just to be safe. Get that scaffolding back out so we can get up here. And now what I'm trying to do is mimic a little bit of what the roof's doing, but not maybe so dramatic as it is there. So we might stick, I don't know, half slab there. Um, let's come back down here for a second and see. And that's not what I meant to do again. Man, that block really doesn't want to be placed. We're going to hit the top side of that one. Top side of that one. We'll put those there. I think we need to put that there. Let's break that out. 
Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, it's not trying to mimic the whole curve of this, but at least it feels like it can maintain that same curve just on a smaller scale. Great. So next what I'm going to do is just climb up real quick. We're going to put these iron bars up in these windows and put trapdoors on the side, and then we'll see how that's looking. All right, getting those last few details in, let's go back down here, get off our scaffolding and see how it's looking. Yep, as you can see, just a few little details with the trap doors, with the iron bars, slowly start getting us a facade that even though it was a little boring at the beginning, looks pretty good now. Next, we're going to put in some, um, what would you call them, barn doors here. One's going to be closed, one's going to be open, kind of just give us a little bit of variety so that they're not both open. So let me get the materials for that. We're going to get that in. I'm also going to decorate the other side of this off camera real quick, and we'll get in these barn doors. Okay, so barn doors really aren't too bad. We're going to do, even though we've got five wide, one door we're going to do just two wide here and close all of those. Or I guess is it open? Closed? I don't know. And then this one we're going to do three wide. And I actually realized I don't want the one inside of there. We want it to look like it swung out here. So we're going to put these in. Now this isn't really too bad. You might get a little stuck on some of the roof here. But really we went the three wide. Open those up. And now if we look at that, it feels like it opened. And the reason I did the bigger one is I really want this to feel very inviting. Not closed off. If we'd have done it three, that's a little bit of a small door. So we made it a little bit bigger so that it looks like it's wide open, ready for you to come in and see what's inside. All right, now that we have the front mostly detailed out, I think this is looking pretty good. We're getting the detail we wanted. So now let's get that roof on. It's time to start making this look a little bit more finished. And what I'm going to do is actually use a couple different types of wood here so that we can kind of give it texture. So I've got my jungle planks. I've got my jungle or sorry, oak planks. And we're just going to keep going in through here. So basically what we're doing is just trying to follow kind of the pattern that's already been established of the roof line coming through here and just making it feel like they're alternated a little. Now we don't want to go too crazy and add too much texture. So majority of this is probably going to be oak. And if we come back here a little, you can see that the two, even though they're different, they're going to blend pretty nicely because our barn is red. It makes this feel like maybe the barn bled into it a little bit. I don't know, weathered down. So it's actually going to give us a really nice roof texture. So I'm going to go through, put the rest of this roof in, just following whatever the top block is on each of these, and then we'll see how the roof's looking. Okay, and with that roof in, you can see it's nothing special here. It's really just kind of giving it some texture, making sure it looks like it weathered down. We don't want it to look super weathered, but enough that over time it got weathered. So let's jump down here. And it's a little bit hard to see. Oh, and maybe we got that a little too straight up. I might need to adjust this a little, but those are the type of tweaks you can do after you have the roof in. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to fix that. That's a line, but that's okay because that's how easy this texturing fix is. We just move a few blocks and we're good. So I think this other side's looking good. And as you can see, we've got this side going pretty well. Now I just realized that I have some details that I can do here, which I'll do off camera and we'll start doing some of the detailing. But next, I want to get in this. I'm not quite sure if I marked it out right. This seems maybe a little small. So maybe we might bump it out, let it come out a tiny bit more. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So let me get the materials that we're going to use to build this, and then we'll get it done. Okay, and as you can see, I moved these over. So now it's a 5 by 5 or I guess 7 by 7 if you count the walls area. I think this will be a little bit bigger. And when I started looking back at it, I really think, and this is something to do when you're building things, is to think about what your sight lines would be. So when it was pushed over, it didn't really bring you around the corner very well. But with this now anchoring kind of this area, I think it's going to help us kind of come in and wrap around the corner a little bit better. Now that's maybe a little advanced for this tutorial. So what we're going to do is just keep on building. So basically here, we're not going to do anything too special. We're going to go up four all the way over here. Let's just put a few different kinds of blocks in here and build this portion up. 
Now, if I come down here and look, let's strip these real quick. We don't want this to be as high as the barn. So really this four is really trying to mimic kind of where the roof line comes in here. I think it's going to be right because the cows will be able to come under it. And we're going to do kind of a low pitched roof, similar to what we kind of did over here with the horses. We're going to do it with the cows and eventually maybe pigs in this area. So I'm going to build a few more of these, one here, one there, and then we'll get the roof in. And now with those three in, one against the building, one in the middle, and one here, we can actually start putting the roof line in. Now this roof line is actually going to be pretty simple. I'm going to start with some stairs upside down, grab some of these deep slate slabs, and the reason I'm doing it this way is it'll be a nice smooth top here, but this little portion will come down and just give us that little bit of detail. If we went completely flat, it might not look like it was anchored onto the actual building there. So this just helps it kind of give it that detail. You could even stick a little portion down through here to make it look nice. But for what this is, I think that's going to be all right. Now for the pitch of the roof, we're really just going for kind of this same low pitch roof. So essentially it's the slab there coming over one, up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one, up one. So pretty simple. Let's come down, see that. Yep, we don't want anything too crazy. We just want enough that we can put in a roof without it being too high and looking too dramatic. So that is going to be our roof. Now from here, you can imagine what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that roof and put it onto here. Well, at least the colors, not the same style. Or the same style, same colors, not the same portion. Man, let's just get it done. I'm talking too much. And with that roof in, we're ready to come in and start putting some of the little details. Now, when there's little portions like this, I don't know that most people will notice, but I like to round it out a little bit. So if you could put all sorts of things here, I kind of like the trap door idea because you can kind of put them in there. It looks like it's a support. And so you whoop, don't want to put it in that way. Make sure you put it in the right way and in the right spot. Wow, really struggling with that one. But these will just give it that little bit of rounding that we're looking for, like we can did with the corners there. So these are just simple little tricks on how to make it look like supports. Maybe they needed to put something in there that made the roof stick up. So as you can see, that holds the roof up. It kind of gives us that rounding without going too crazy of an arch. Now I'm going to get out some. Let's just do it here real quick. I'm going to get out my birch logs here. And what we're going to do is build some fences real quick. And what I'm going to do here now is this is actually going to be where the pens are. So I'm going to stick them here so that there is an, a way to get in here. But what I really want to do is make this portion lighter. Now we could have used the jungle wood to keep it going through, but I actually want this to be a little more contrasty because we're going to have animals in there. We're going to actually bring in a lot of this ground underneath here. So that's kind of who I want to make this a little bit different is let it stand out from this because we have the jungle wood in here. And as you can see, this is going to contrast that ground a little bit better. So that's going to make more sense in here in just a second because we're going to start detailing now. So let me get some of my detail stuff out. I'm not going to do it on camera because this is really personalized to what you're going to want to do. So I'm going to decorate this and personalize it kind of how I would. And you can decide if that's going to work for your world. All right, now let's see how we decorated this out to make it look like our own. We obviously put in kind of the ground that we had out here and I introduced some mud in here. Like maybe this is where the cows or the pigs get really dirty. I don't know. Didn't want to use a soul sand because that seemed a little, I don't know, too much blending into here. So we used some mud. Might still adjust the areas a little bit. We might even put like a trough over here where their food or their water comes. But these are kind of the details. Put some lanterns up there, some grass, hit some torches so that we can keep it mob proof, but still be able to have the light we need. We got some hay bales in here, really just to round out this corner. Now, when I do this technique, even though we round out the corner of the building, I want to use some things out here. So it really helped kind of make this seem like one seamless piece instead of the barn over here and the awning over here. I want to really make it feel cohesive. So path goes in there, path goes into our barn. We don't have much in here yet. I think I might add like a 
what we'd call it a chicken farm up here that will hatch the eggs kill the eggs or kill the chickens and we can get our food not sure maybe and then out here we still obviously have a lot of work what i want to do is really blend this in a little bit better i think it's kind of strange that like a partial beach comes in here so we might actually use some of the other materials like mud to really customize this biome a little bit more to our needs and make it so that the cows can get out of that pen and roam around out here. But y'all, that is going to do it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. It was a lot of fun. And these are great to have in your world because you can store all sorts of things in the barn. You can put all the animals you need. Even if you wanted to put horses, you could kind of trap or not trap, fix those in the back so that the horses couldn't get out. But that is my barn tutorial. Thanks for watching and let me know down in the comments where you might put this in your world. But until the next tutorial, we'll talk to you soon.